Hi people, it's Archivist here with a review for Trials Fusion. In Trials, it's your job to overcome various courses which aren't exactly safe while desperately trying to stay on your vehicle. It's an interesting concept that definitely holds some true potential, but does Trials Fusion manage to capitalise on it effectively? The gameplay in Trials is based primarily around balancing the weight of your vehicle by strategically leaning. On the first tracks, it's fairly easy to avoid crashing, but as you progress towards the later stages, things get much trickier. Despite the extreme difficulties in the later stages, it never becomes too frustrating thanks to the checkpoint system. Should you fall off your vehicle, you simply hit the B button to instantly jump back to the last checkpoint you passed. I have to admit, I did get a little annoyed at some of the more difficult obstacles, however because I could instantly have another go, I never felt like the game was being unreasonable. Every time you do crash, your rider will fly off the vehicle in a very amusing way, largely thanks to the excellent ragdoll physics. You can even customise your rider, and there are a good number of options available. There are also different game modes to keep the experience dynamic. You have your standard race to the finish mode, but there are also missions where you have to perform as many tricks as possible to rack up points. The vehicles in the game are fairly similar in terms of how they're operated, but there are some subtle variations that make certain models better for particular tasks. For example, although the TKO Panda is great for keeping its balance, it's not so well suited for pulling off tricks. You can even ride a conventional bicycle, although the lack of an engine does put it at a bit of a disadvantage, although it is more lightweight of course. The graphics in Trials are nothing special, but they are appealing nonetheless. The game's greatest graphical asset would have to be its colour palette, which really helps to distinguish the different career events. I also really enjoyed the futuristic setting, which allows for some very creative course designs. Although there are still some rural tracks which prevent the style from growing stale. The game also performs very well in terms of frame rate, even at the highest settings. Speaking of video settings, Trials offers a surprising amount of flexibility, so I expect the game will also run very well on low end systems. The lasting appeal of Trials Fusion would have to be one of its strongest points. The game encourages you to replay tracks to improve your score on the leaderboards. Moreover, there's a local multiplayer mode which supports up to four players. The idea here is to try and complete the course faster than your opponent while trying to keep the crashing to a minimum. Furthermore, there's also a track editor where you can create your own courses by dropping objects into the world and placing them around a course. Not only does this allow for a lot of creativity, but it also means that player generated content will keep the game relevant long after you finish the career mode. In conclusion, Trials Fusion is a great game, which I suspect will have a very wide appeal. I don't normally deviate from my favourite genres, but after taking a chance on Trials, I feel very satisfied. Plus, the relatively low price point more than justifies the purchase. Even if you're not a gamer, the physics engine makes for some great moments that look like something out of Total Wipeout. I award Trials Fusion for PC an 8.5 out of 10. As always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Subscribe to the Archivist 42 channel for gaming top 5s, reviews and more.